Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back guys to another mod tutorial. This is a big one. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, anyway, this mod tutorial is going to show you how to mod your uh, 1.6.2 Minecraft client or, or jar profile now, I guess we call them, to be exactly like mine. Uh, I get a lot of requests for a tutorial like this. People want to know all the mods that I use and how to install them. So the mods that uh, we're going to be installing in this tutorial is uh, Optifine, Single Player Commands, Zom's Mod Pack, Too Many Items, uh, World Edit, and did I say Optifine? <laughs> there, there's a bunch of them. Uh, we're going to go to uh, these websites and you're going to get Light Loader. And this is for the CUI, uh, for the, uh, the green interface over your world edit. And this is where you're going to get the CUI from. You're going to go to this page, and all links will be in the description. You're going to go to the last page, and then you're going to go to 80, page 80, and scroll down to where Humphrey, or Mumphrey, excuse me, <laughs> Humphrey, um, has made this post right here. And mod world edit CUI 162. Um, this is uh, the mod for that. Then we've got Zom's Mod Pack. This is where you go to get that. And 162. And then we got Single Player Commands. This is where you go to get that. Go to Downloads. And right here, yeah, Preferred or Alternate is fine. Optifine, the latest version. And I use Ultra. And they have other versions of it too, but I use the Ultra. And the last one is Too Many Items. And make sure you get the 162 non forge version because I do not use forge mods. So that is all the mods that you'll be need to download. So go do that and then come back and we will start to install them. All right, now that you have all your mods, put them in a folder, preferably their own folder, and call it 162 mods. Put it on your desktop or in your download, someplace where it's, you can easily find it. And, uh, and and work with it because we've got we got to go through all of these. All right, so before we get started, we need to go to our light loader and we need to install that. So double click on that. It is an executable. Install light loader. Make sure that your pathway is correct to your .minecraft folder and click OK. It will say successfully installed client light loader uh, 162 launcher. Now, what happens when that when you click on that? is you get in your dot minecraft versions a light loader folder this will have your jar file and your json file already set up for modding all right so to prepare uh, the rest of your folders you need to have one that says mods lowercase mods and you will need one that says bin b-i-n lowercase those sh hopefully should already be in your dot minecraft folder uh, if not you will have to create them all right, guys, this has to be done a certain way. If it's not, it will not work. So you must follow this tutorial spot on or, uh, or is not going to work. So we're going to go to our versions. We're going to go to Light Loader, and we're going to open up our jar uh, file here with WinRAR Win, Win or Win7. All right, I forgot to mention, too. Also, when you run Light Loader, you may get something like this that pops up. Just cancel it out. Um, I've, I've installed it several times now and made several different clients of it. Um, and that's been popping up here lately so uh, if you get that just cancel it out it, it's fine as long as these folders show up it's been installed just fine all right so we're gonna go back to our light loader 162 jar folder or our jar file whatever the fuck you want to call it first thing we're gonna do is delete the meta imp. if you don't delete that nothing's gonna fucking work anyways now we're gonna open up our mods folder and the first one that we're going to need is Zom's Mod Pack. Zom's Mod Pack has to be put in first. If it doesn't, it, none of this shit is going to work. You're going to go to your class files, and you're going to grab all your class files, and you're going to drop and drag them into the uh, light loader jar. We're going to close that out. The next one is your Optifine. So grab your Optifine and grab everything in here except for the Meta Inf. So control all, and then control deselect the Meta Inf and drop and drag and put everything in there. Click OK. Close that out. The next one that we're going to need is the single player commands. So we're going to click on that and highlight everything except for the world edit jar and drop and drag and put that in. Click OK. 
And the last one is too many items. So click on that, all these, and drag and drop and put them in. Click OK. Close that out. We are done with our mods for right now. We've got one left right here, and actually, no, we got to put our single player commands in. Sorry about that. So go ahead and close out your jar file and go back twice to your dot minecraft folder you're going to go to mods and this is where the world edit cui 162 will go so that's this file right here drop and drag that and put that right in here you'll need a folder that says z-o-m-b-e zomb open that up that is where your zomb class files are going to go so then zomb's mod pack right here under config grab these files drop them and drag them and put them in that folder and then the last but not least in your bin folder this is where your world edit jar will go from your single player commands right here drop and drag that and put that in once that is set up you will need to uh, set up your zoms uh, mod pack config uh, document right here go to my zoms mod pack uh, installation video uh, i've got a pretty lengthy part that shows you how to set up that config file. Once that's set up, now we need to start our game and set up a new profile. So start up your Minecraft client. Alright guys, once you start your client up, you should have a profile over here that is called Light Loader. If not, arrow down and make sure that you check that. We're going to go to Edit Profile and just make sure everything is set up here. The profile name, Light Loader, or you can name it whatever you want to make it easier to find. And it just makes sure that it says use version release light loader 162. You might have to arrow down and find it, but it should be right here. Uh, everything should already be set up. And uh, just click save profile and we'll go ahead and play. All right, guys, if you did everything correctly, you should be in game. You shouldn't have any <laughs> crashes or, or bad screens. And uh, you should have everything installed. We hit E and we have there is too many items. And we hit escape and options, video settings. There is our uh optifine and our zombies mod packet we hit f7 and that should be installed over here on the uh on the left and you don't really need this but it is there so we know that that works we have uh let's check our single player commands and our cui h pause 2 and there's our cui and also our world edit so all that works just fine and you can watch my other tutorials on single player commands and Zom's mod pack and all that to figure out uh, how to do a lot of this different stuff. And uh, I explain it a lot better. This is just the mod tutorial just to get it up, get it running, and get you a client like mine. So that is it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you got through it okay. There's a lot of mods there. This is pretty much an advanced, to me, it's an advanced mod tutorial. And uh, just take your time with it and follow it step by step, and you should ju you should be just fine. So other than that, that's all I got. I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.